Thank you, Gary. Nick, that, what a terrific game for you guys. You, we know what trouble you've had in terms of fielding a, a team, but take, take us through the emotions of that one. Oh, it's a big one. Obviously, not having a win all year, and I guess the adversity the boys have been through the last month or so. Um, oh, it's just good for the morale. We're off a six-day turnaround and, and back to Perth tonight, so oh, the flight back to Perth is a long flight, but it's much more enjoyable with the four points. What about half-time, Sim? Mate, you're going two-point leaders. The belief. So many young players in your team that look like they belong at the level. Yeah, they do, and I think it's just taking time for them to get some games under the belt, get some confidence, and the message is to be brave and keep some of us older boys out of the team. So a lot of boys are in the waiting in the wings, coming off rehab, but um, oh, these young boys have really stood up, and it's good for their confidence um, having a win. You had a great uh, run out there today. It looked like the petrol light was on in the end. <laughs> you and Grundy just going at it. So tell us about that match, Alex. Oh, it's good. He's one of the premier rucks in the comp, um, him and a few others. So got a lot of respect for him, a lot of admiration for him, and um, oh, they're playing some really good footy this year as well. How does Simo handle it? Because obviously two-team town over there, under man, but as the coach, how does he, how does he, how does he get you boys up? Is he... Oh, he don't need it. he got blokes like Liam Ryan that carry on. They bring the energy. <laughs> Willie Rioli. So um, Simo, just, he's the same every week. And like you said, it is tough in WA, but uh, he makes no excuses. He just embraces it all. Go and enjoy this one. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you.